Hey y'all, happy Thanksgiving. I hope you guys are having a great day. And I just wanted to show you guys our Thanksgiving here in the RV. Uh, it's actually Monday, um, but you guys will see this on Thanksgiving. And yeah, so I did an entire Thanksgiving dinner in the RV for my husband and I and our son. Can you believe it? It's actually my first time doing it. Like I said, we have all the fixes. Turkey, mashed potatoes, bread, cranberry sauce, stuffing, gravy, a pie, missing anything? I don't think so, but y'all will see it. So I just want you guys to come along and see how you can cook an entire Thanksgiving dinner in your RV. So I first started with the turkey because it took seven hours in the crock pot. I wrapped it, as y'all can see, in some bacon because why not? Bacon is always a good choice, am I right? And if y'all like bacon, give this video a thumbs up. And if you also want to, if you haven't subscribed, I would love to have you guys. Um, my husband and I travel for work and we live in an RV full time and we would love to have you all join our family. So hit that red button. And to top off this turkey, I added some garlic on top, as y'all saw, and some um, onion soup mix, I think that was, and some Worcester. I didn't really measure the Worcester, I just kind of like threw it all in there. I say the more the better. And then I just popped it into the crock pot and hit it for seven hours, so that will be good to go. Moving on to the stuffing, I've actually never had um, regular like homemade stuffing before. I've only had boxed. Oh my gosh, y'all, super easy to make and super delicious. You just gotta cut up the bread as y'all had seen. And this recipe also called for apples, which I thought was a smidge weird, but it just made the, the dish just even better with the apples in there. And it also uh, called for some sausage, which I think anything that has sausage or again, bacon in it is like over the top recipe. So yeah, I just grounded up the sausage, added some onion and I think some garlic and then maybe salt and pepper and such. And then the recipe also wanted me to do fresh herbs. So some sage and rosemary. I just blended up in my little blender and threw it in there. Oh, just made this recipe just to the top when you have fresh herbs, amazing. So yeah, just kind of mixed everything together and then I'll pop that in the oven. Moving on to the potatoes, I actually am one of those people that love the skin on the potatoes, so I just love my little scrubber there. I scrub all the potatoes um, with their skins on. I just think it gives it a little extra something something to the recipe. And yeah, just uh, cutting them up and putting them in the pot so I can boil them up. And if y'all had noticed, that's actually the same pot I used for the stuffing. No, I did not have two. I actually did like four different sets of dishes throughout this entire thing because I only have a certain amount. So yeah. Those are the downfalls of cooking a big dinner in an RV, but hey, dishes aren't the worst thing in the world. So I just use my little blender there and um, kind of blending it up or mixing it up. And honestly, with my spices, it kind of just goes with whatever. I always do the butter and the milk, salt and pepper. I think this time I added some garlic and then I had some of that rosemary and sage left over from the stuffing. So I was like, eh, let's throw that in there. But my secret recipe, or I should say Martha's secret recipe, is cream cheese, y'all. That makes your potatoes the best thing. I put a tire block of cream cheese in there. That's the way to go. Moving on to the cranberry sauce. Um, so yeah, I just had some fresh cranberries, some OJ, and some maple syrup. And uh, I actually put some honey in there too because I ran out of maple syrup and I needed it a little bit sweeter. So that's all it takes, y'all. Um, I love cranberry sauce, but I will only eat it homemade, y'all. And also, oh, I did throw in some cinnamon, sorry. <laughs> Gotta have some cinnamon in there too. And what's great about this is you can, you know, make it the day or two before and throw it in the fridge and it's perfect. Moving on to the pie. Um, so I made a chocolate pie because my husband's not much of a pie person. So yeah, I just got the jello mix and then I'm just mixing up the pudding. And I did make my own graham cracker crust with some graham crackers, sugar and butter. And um, I'll be putting that in that little pie dish and throwing it in the oven just to give it a, you know, um, make sure it's like packed well. And yeah, so I maybe I should have done a, a real pie. I love any type of pies. My favorite is the triple berry, but I would have had to have eaten that entire pie myself, which honestly sounds like a really good idea. Maybe I'll do that next time. <laughs> Move 
moving on to the whip topping, my favorite part, but only if it's homemade, y'all. It's super easy. Whip topping um, is all is the sugar and some heavy whipping cream and vanilla. And you just kind of swoosh that around. Your arm will probably fall off because you kind of like swish it. I think I was swishing for at least 10 to 15 minutes. But yeah, until you get that good consistency, those peaks as I was showing. And then it's perfect and you can just throw it on your pie. And yeah, what I loved, I think what I learned from this experience of making a huge dinner in a small um, kitchen is preparing stuff beforehand. I had made this pie like early in the morning and then I had also I think made the cranberry sauce, like pre-did the stuffing, like I just kind of pre-made a lot of stuff and then just threw it in the fridge and then I was able to like, you know, pull it all out and warm it all up at the same time. Super good and get your dishes done. And here is the finished product. Isn't it gorgeous? Ugh. I think we did a great job and I did do some store-bought stuff as y'all had seen is the bread and then I just um, you know did some store-bought salad for a veggie but I mean you can do some homemade some store-bought it's really not that big of a deal and I think it turned out really great and granted I had to do dishes again a lot but it was all right so yeah I hope you guys liked this video hit that like button if you did and please consider, consider subscribing I can talk um, that red button right down below um, like I'd mentioned we're just a family that lives in an RV full-time and we would love to have you guys join us and um, take a look at our other videos if you'd like just about mom life and travel life and yeah and I update every Thursday y'all so tune in next week for Jen Lee in the RV